find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Shh, we're sleeping this week on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 116, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinTheBegin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Tom, but before we get to the candy of this trick-or-treat bag of podcasts, uh, let's find out what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? Chachi won't be answering because he just got oh, kicked no. off on Hangouts. <laughs> He left after the. Hey, he'll, he'll be right back in a moment, I think. But I'll oh, go. No. I'll go. I played a lot, Bobby. I played a lot, and we'll get the Chachi <laughs> in a moment here. Uh, no, I played a lot. We did, of course, the extra life with you guys. Um, yeah. Oh man, I should have compiled a list, huh? <laughs> yeah, I did. I didn't even. Oh, no. I didn't even think about compiling a oh, list. Oh no, uh, I know. Uh, just uh, I played some Shaq Fu. I played a lot of Blitz 2002, uh, which is funny since I kind of said I'm not going to watch any football this season. Um, <laughs> Which I ended play up, it which, interactively. I, which I also kind of ended up doing, um, and uh, geez, a lot of old school stuff. I played, I played the Sesame Street ABC as promised to Chachi for his initial <laughs> donation. I did not, I did not play more of it as your your dad wanted me to do. Uh, <laughs> um, and, you know, it really kind of really kind of poked around a lot of, a lot of uh, Nintendo games um, and uh, like uh, some Genesis games. Uh, uh, you know, once I could get working. And uh, a lot of Sega Saturn Dreamcast, Street Fighter, the movie, the video game was interesting. Fighting Vipers, I went back to uh, play a little bit of Sonic Adventure 2, Jet Grind Radio. Or it's really kind of revisiting a lot of games I uh, I hadn't really played a lot and 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 was going back to. Soul Calibur 2 is another one. Um, so a lot of fun, a lot of kind of recapturing there. Awesome. Uh, Chachi, um, now that you were offended by my uh, joke this week. But in my, in the uh, I got disconnected. Part. Yes, I, know. I, I thought you lo- I thought you left after the candy trick or treat thing. <laughs> no, I wasn't even paying attention. Honestly. Oh, okay. <laughs> I uh, was trying to get my camera to look better and lost the connection. Ah, uh, you're uh, fine. Most people are on audio, <laughs> anyways. Well, but, what, um, what did you achieve this week? Uh, I I played Destiny and I played Let's uh fuck with the insert coin to begin extra life team. <laughs> On uh, on the chat, very good, very good job of that. Um, Riz needs to play uh, Mario better, apparently. <laughs> um, to be honest, though, I wasn't even paying attention half the time. I was just listening. Um, we, didn't, playing... we didn't talk a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I was playing Destiny. Um, I'm kind of sad that I wasn't there when Riz fell asleep. Oh, that was so <laughs> funny. That was the best part of the night. At I think. nine in the morning. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, I was still sleeping at nine, so. <laughs> Sucks to be you guys. Um, no, my favorite part was the part where uh, Riz said that not everyone on the team had to do 24 hours, that you could have done it in shifts. Mm-hmm. And Sorg was like, uh, what? Yeah, no. <laughs> Which I, I'm like, what have we been doing hours. all this time? Yeah, no. it, 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 there, there was there. Yeah, it was the reaction was hilarious, and I loved every second of it. <laughs> yeah, I was staying up twenty four hours no matter what. <laughs> so, which which I did. But no, it, that that part made me laugh. That was that was my favorite part. All right, and um, from from the chat. Oh, are you are you still going? No. Okay. Uh, from the chat, Will's uh said he's enjoying WWE two K fifteen, which came out today. Um, and, but it's not bad. Uh, he said. It's WWE 2K14 with tweaks and updated roster. So, um, and I achieved, uh, like Sorg said, uh, I we I played a lot of video games this week, and more than I have in the probably past year. <laughs> um, but I, I started off with Nintendo and uh, played uh, pro wrestling first, which was kind of strange because I was swearing right off the bat on the stream. <laughs> Uh, I kept losing to Starman, and then I finally beat him, and then I just got thrown to all, all these other people. Um, I bought Dick Tracy, but I didn't play it for some reason. I think I was afraid. Because <laughs> you knew better. Yeah, because I knew better. I think, well, well I said if somebody donates uh, 50 bucks, I'll play it, and nobody donated 50 bucks. So, <laughs> Well, my sister did, but she doesn't count. She, because she's my sister. But um, I also played uh, a lot of PlayStation 2. I played Katamari Damacy which everybody was amused by. 
Uh, I love. I guess. It, I guess. Uh, what was it? Julie or Cat had never seen Katamari they had before. Never seen it before. Oh, they, they were, were entranced. Just, like, they were like blown away. I was like picking up crabs and everything, and just it was fun. Um, to be fair, you were I, sitting there. I was like, oh, I got crabs now. And, you yeah. know, that kind of <laughs> caught everybody's attention. Yeah, and then and then yeah, and and I and then I played uh, a couple Xbox games. Switched back to. Um, the I played GameCube for a while too, Double Dash. Uh, but that, then we played, um, which was I thought was the highlight was uh, Cards Against Humanity. We took a break from the video games and played a ga- game online uh, of Cards Against Humanity, which was hilariously fun. Um, and then I went back to Wind Waker and I just gave up on it because I couldn't follow it. And and then I played The Last of Us and almost like just got real emotional. <laughs> I said wow like five times in a row because of the scene I just saw. Then uh, shortly after that, I, pl- I, I installed Assassin's Creed 4, which I bought this weekend. took a while. And then uh, I p- took a five-hour energy at 4 a.m. and played Wii, which kind of took me through the rest of the, the, the event. On, on Sorg and Chachi's advice of them playing golf last year, I got up and played ping pong and, and uh, fencing and archery and couple things like that so and then that and then the rest of the time i i played uh xbox so that's that was my that was my weekend so that's what i achieved all right chachi you want to take us around the net okay it is time for this week's edition of video game theme things from around the internet net 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 as per usual let's start with the runners up uh, in case you've been living under a rock, uh, Ebola is a big thing. <laughs> um, and apparently during uh, the past two weeks, uh, during Ebola Watch 2014, over a million people have downloaded Plague Inc. Wow. Um, which is a, a, a game where you control a virus and you try to take out the world's population. Um, so yeah, they gained a, a million new users uh, just in the past two weeks uh, alone because of Ebola. Does it they're, feature? They're guessing. Does it feature Ebola tips? Is that what no, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't even. You can't. You can't create Ebola in the game. Wow. Um, so they're they're really unsure. Um, why they're connecting it to it, other than it's a game of diseases. Hmm. Um, so yeah, and I, I linked the uh, the review that I did uh, a while back when I played the game, so you can go over and check that out. Oh, two years ago, I did the review. FYI, I just realized that. Um, I remember when you did that review. Then next up. Uh, an artist recreates the Doom 2 final level into a $6,000 statue. And there's a, there's a minute and a half long video uh, giving a rundown of what all went into the statue. So uh, you can check that out also. And on to the, uh, the main attraction. Uh, artist Ido... Yeah, Movitz. That's not even close. Yeah, uh, Movitz. <laughs> has reimagined 10, to vi- uh, 10 of video gaming's iconic vehicles and redid all the artwork for those vehicles. Um, the one I have pictured is Sweet Tooth's ice cream machine in from uh, Twisted Metal. That looks pretty cool, actually. Um, but he also did, mm-hmm. like... Mario's Go Kart, uh, the buggy from Half Life, uh, the Carmageddon car, Trevor's truck. So, I mean, he really went all out. Um, so, you can go over to the link at insertcoinbegin.com and check that out. I'm not going to lie, this week was really hard to find stuff. It just seemed mm-hmm. like a, a, a slow week for uh, gaming, <laughs> yeah, gaming, gaming themed things. Um, and luckily, I was reading Twitter and saw that uh, our friend Mikey had just linked this. Yeah, I saw that um, today, too. It's a minute and four second long video 
of a kid having the most crazy epic <laughs> uh, rage quitting fit ever. Um, apparently, he was playing FIFA. Uh, the, his opponent scored a goal at the very last second and won the game. So he gives up, he, he freaks the fuck out and throws his PS3 out the window. That's not as bad as the World of Warcraft kid, though. Um, that one was pretty intense. You, you know, I got to point out, the guy, was fake, the, the guy was pretty thorough and threw the box out with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. As the video goes on, he throws more of the, the stuff out um, with it, uh, the box, the controller. But yeah, he, he just tosses it all out the window. Wow. So I'm hoping he doesn't live on the second or third floor. Someone can't handle their Vigi games. Yeah. Um, but on second thought, I kind of hope he did, just so when he calms down, he realizes that uh, he broke a three four hundred dollar system mm-hmm. over a, a a video game goal. Uh, last but not least, this week, um, some favorite musicians of mine, the Double Clicks. They're a nerd pop folk uh, string duo. One plays the cello, one plays a guitar slash ukulele. Um, covered "Want You Gone" on the uh, cello and uh, on the cello. I'm sorry, just on the cello, and uh, with the the accompanying lyrics. Um, so you can you can check it out. Out uh, really well done, and has uh, it was done in front of a blue screen, so it has. Uh, portal themed graphics in the back and everything um and i definitely recommend that you check out their other videos because they're all hilarious and they like dinosaurs yes um anybody who likes dinosaurs okay in my books uh, the songs that i i put down as examples of the the nerdiness that they have um spock impersonator which is about falling in love with uh star trek uh cosplayers uh, Hollywood Raptor, which is a song about uh, the truth behind Velociraptors, and Really Big Chicken, which is uh, about just dinosaurs in general and how they're just how they were just really big chickens. Um, so hilarious stuff and definitely worth listening to. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you in this week's edition of video game themed things from around the internet. Net, net, net. Net, net. Back to you, Bobby. All right, it's time for some things you be ma- you might uh, some things you should be made aware of and what you might not be made aware of. Riz, Riz joining us. How's it going, Riz? Hi. All right. Uh, I'm awake. By the way, you're awake. Yeah, you were in on the 24 hour thing with us as well. I was. I... Uh, you fell asleep. <laughs> well, yeah, he wasn't up for the entire 24 well, hours. No, let me, let me, let me clarify <laughs> well, here. Well, you can clarify here. We're, we're going to get to more a little okay. extra life right. stuff. Uh, I'll get into why I fell asleep. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. First up, uh, for our things you should be made aware of, for some of our news bits here, um, guys. Have you ever seen a grown man freak out over a video game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mewtwo yeah. Mewtwo yeah, was added to America Smash Wars. Brothers. Mewtwo was added to Smash Brothers. Um it's free if you get both versions of both the three three DS version and the Wii U version of the game. Um it'll be available in spring two thousand fifteen though. But people lost their collective shit over Mewtwo being in the oh. game. There's a there's a video of the the, the, the last video, um Kotaku had had all these up on their site. The last video, the guy almost has a heart attack because Mewtwo was added to the game. It's I one think... of the most. Oh, go ahead. It's one of the most amazing videos I've seen. I think he said "my dick" like five times. <laughs> I hope it's real. It might be fake, but I, if it's real, God bless that gentleman. Um, but that's not the only Pokemon news this week. Catch them all. Do you guys remember when we talked about the Pikachu bed? Oh yeah. Oh. We still talk about the Pikachu bed. We still are talk you, about the Pikachu bed. Are you about to blow my mind all over we again? We mentioned Bobby? the possibility of what about a Snorlax bed? Well, <laughs> Seoul based, Seoul Korea based Etsy user Catherine Kim is now selling a customized Snorlax bed on her Etsy site. Look at that I'm kid! Out. Look at that kid just considering that thing. 
Yes, Chachi. Uh, I covered that like three months ago. You did? Yes. Oh, I didn't see the Snorlax bed. Yeah. It was just up on the thing. Oh, okay. Covered it like three months ago. Well, Well, she added that one now, but um, it's about $371. Yep. Yeah. And it's just like the Pikachu one without the pillow or without the, uh, the pocket. Yep. But hey, I want to sleep on a Snorlax. So, but this one doesn't feature the Japanese lady that the Pikachu bed did. So. Make you take interested. the young kid with you. Oh, no, that's weird. I forget I said whoa, that. Whoa, whoa! As no, a no, well, no adoption, sorry. adoption, <laughs> adoption. <laughs> Why? What do Lord, you think? Sword, sword. Yeah, yeah, that's. Lord. I'm giving you a yellow card for that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Sork throws a PS3 out the window. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, also announced. Um, I, I, I Xbox was going to grab something, one. but everything's connected. <laughs> Can we just move on? Uh, the Xbox <laughs> One is this holiday season, starting November first. It's going to be three hundred fifty bucks. That's oh. a fifty dollars price drop. Um, all the bundles will be fifty dollars off, including the newly uh, released. Well, it's not released yet, but um, the Assassin's Creed Unity bundle will be fifty dollars off as well. Hmm. And that's just coming out the week after they start this uh, event. Um, but, uh, even then, like the connect ones are going to have $50 off. Um, and there's, are, there are rumors that Sony's going to match this offer for the PS4 as well. So that's that, big news for people buying new systems. That might make me want to buy a new system soon. Yeah. It, but it's only temporary. Soon. It's only for the holiday season. Well, yeah. But, uh, I guess in, in, in September, the UK got $50 off of their systems as well. So. That's a good thing. You guys interested in buying a new system yet, or hasn't it pushed you past the limit yet? Don't need it yet. Not yet. yet. Not yet. I got plenty. Oh, to, yeah. I got plenty I watched, to pay on this system. I watched some. I watched some. Uh, uh, what's the new game that just came out today? Sunset Overdrive. Mm-hmm. Somebody was streaming it. Nerdist was streaming it on their site. It looks fun. <laughs> it oh looks yeah. So I, there's a couple games I wouldn't mind playing, but not. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, it's to that point where, um, you know, I, you know, I wouldn't mind playing Uncharted and Metal Gear Solid Five, but uh, I don't want to go to the trouble by a PS3 yet. Yeah. So I, I got I plenty already. over here. Let me tell you, yeah. so, let me tell you, you'll enjoy the time when you're playing the games, not the time when you're installing and updating the games, mm. <laughs> which is most of the time. Yes. Yeah, or remember that. Uh, what? <laughs> yes. Yes. Five minute. Uh, <laughs> movie download and uh 30 minute little big planet update oh yeah oh, oh yeah i had that happen to me this weekend with this we, we were we were we were recollecting on that what during well wow bobby's was going wow, through was, yeah. it's yeah. like remember when wow, that was a part was of chachi plays yes uh so all right guys uh new dlc was announced for payday 2 the one keanu reeves whoa AKA John Wick is going to be a playable character in Payday 2. Oh man. And it's free DLC because of their partnership with Lionsgate. Oh um, man. And they are they're also offering a Hitman perk which will let you dual wield weapons like John Wick does in the film. Um and as a bonus you can score a free Steam code for the game when you purchase tickets to see the movie John Wick via Fandango. Oh that's kind of cool. Not, not the WWE wrestler, the uh, movie ticket service with the paper bags. Hmm. All right. Uh, another story we have is: Do you guys remember the games Star Wars Tie Fighter and Star Wars X Wing? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. They're getting re-releases through Grand Old Games, uh, GOG.com, or GOG as they're called. I think it's Good Old Games. Um, or Good Old Games, yeah. Okay. Good Old Good Old Good Old Games. Um, but that's not all. They also announced six more Lucas Arts games are currently available on the service. Um, the Secret of Mon- Monkey Island Special Edition, Sam and Max Hit the Road, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, which is watery, um, Star Wars TIE Fighter, Star Wars X-Wing, and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic are all on the service right now. Um, it's been a long dream of uh, the GOG uh, managing director, Guilame Rambor- Ramborg, <laughs> uh, to offer these classics uh, to the public. Um, I think this is great. Um, I know a lot of people are excited because these games are on the service. Um, what do you guys think? Are you going to be picking these games up? I think eventually this is going to be added to my collection. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will probably wait for a sale. 
If they were on Mac, I would have bought them sight unseen today. Um, <laughs> well, not that GOG GOG is one of those sites that offers free games all the time. They do, they like, do. So uh, not, not free, but definitely discounted. To, yeah, uh, well, discounted free as well. Free. Uh, they, they had free games before. Yeah, I, I jumped on the fault. They put out the first couple of Fallout games for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, so those are in the collection. Uh, I think I got Carmageddon on there as well. Uh, at least they were giving that away along with the Kickstarter when they were putting together the third or whatever the next one is. Um, I downloaded Lucas or Tycoon. I think it's tremendous. I had uh, the LucasArts collection, which included Tie Fighter, and I also had the Rebel Assault games um, and a couple other things. Uh, Dark. They had a three disc pack for Dark Forces, um, which I now own actually on Steam. Uh, I kind of hope I see these come to Steam as well. Then I can have them all in one place. Like I have a few games on on, on GOG, but I keep forgetting about them because they're not in Steam. Yeah, so, exactly. Well, you can add them to Steam, though, because I've done that already. Like like that you install them and you can... Yeah, you install them on, on Steam. Yeah. And you can play them through Steam, because I, I installed the... Uh, but but, but the whole I point can... of Steam is I'm mobile, I'm computer to computer. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, yeah, I have that one. You know, and, and you kind of move on there. Like, I can't recall what all games I have on Good Hulk Games right now, so I'm going to go <laughs> double check that. I know I, know I snagged the... Um, the fallouts, like I said, but I bought a couple yeah. of them too. And I, I just can't recall for life of me what they were. Um, I bought them and didn't, I didn't play them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> or I exactly. got them and didn't play them. Oh yeah. But it's like, well, I got to throw those in there. Oh, and they have a yeah. lot of like kind of freebie ones. Oh, I, I snagged the mega, Re- the mega race games. Um, <laughs> because I loved the second one for some reason. Cause I had a demo I played all the time. Um, so Is that I, like wacky races. Uh, no, it's one of those like post-apocalyptic racing games. Back when that was cool, I wanted it to be wacky races with Mega Man characters. But uh, the Tie Fighter was was really cool. It was very simulation, um, and I needed a DOS boot disc in order to play it. DOS, DOS boot. boot, DOS boot <laughs> disc. <laughs> if anybody DOS knows, boot. you were a hardcore gamer. If you had to put together a oh. DOS boot disc and edit an auto config in oh. order to play your CD ROM game in DOS. I need to, that, that's a reminder. I need to get DOS boot on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> or Beer Fest. Or yeah, Beer Fest. Yeah, DOS boot okay. is on Beer Fest as well. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Like we mentioned at the beginning of the show here, uh, we all played the uh, Extra Life uh, 24 hour marathon this weekend. Uh, to support, to support uh, Ch- yeah, Chachi. Chachi does, has his own thing. Um, but uh, we did it this weekend in support of uh, Children's Hospital, um, St. Vincent's uh, in Erie. Um, but Extra Life as a whole, um, they they announced that they raised five point five million dollars, which uh, it represents a new record uh, for Extra Life, um, and they're still counting because donations can can continue to come in. Um, awesome. The top teams this year, as of press time, were KBMOD um, and the Internet Famous. They raised two hundred forty-seven thousand six hundred sixty-nine dollars. Uh, Rooster okay. Teeth raised two hundred forty-four thousand. Three hundred sixty-four dollars, and Giant Bomb raised one hundred ninety-one thousand five hundred thirty-three. We didn't quite raise that much, but we did a pretty good um, nine hundred and sixty dollars. Once I get my cash in there, um, so that's pretty good uh, considering we were all a small team. We still uh, have we, a year. Had, we still have one more we, year, Bob. We still have, yeah, and and, and we want to thank everybody who donated to us mm-hmm. and everybody who watched us on the tre- the streams and trolled us in the chat room, Chachi. Chachi. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Riz, do you want to talk about uh, what you did uh, falling asleep at the end? Oh, well, no. Well, first, first off, <laughs> no, I had to rest. You first off, Sorg. Yeah. Sorg. Yeah. You had coffee. I had coffee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how Bobby. I roll. I got. I had coffee right now. I get had, through tonight. Bobby, I had, you had I had, I had five iron energy and uh, Mountain Dew uh, game fuel, which was sour as all get out. Bobby, no. And and I think the the, the ladies had uh, coffee as well. Uh, you know what I was running on? Milk. I was milk and what? the termination of those kids in that hospital. <laughs> one thing. Right one now. thing. One thing. One thing. You do not cut me off, sir. One thing. Why would you drink milk when milk is one of the things that makes you sleepy? <laughs> because people I'm, drink warm milk to go to I sleep. I like a challenge, Bobby. Okay. I'm just, I was just questioning your logic. I would just like to point out <laughs> that on the Extra Life FAQ, uh-huh. they encourage you to go to sleep if you're if you're tired. 
Oh, oh okay. I think they legally yeah, have to. They said to just get up and make up the time. Yeah, yeah. which I think Julia actually did that because she she kind of Julie yeah. passed uh, out like at around gonna... twenty one hours. Yeah, but she's a new mom. I mean, you know that. Yeah, that's true. That, that takes a toll on you. But uh, I'm hoping to have them on 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 in the next coming weeks, uh, so we can talk about this a little more uh, like in depth. But get there. I, I, I was deemed to playing the shitty uh, RBI baseball because it's just press A, <laughs> press A, press A, press A, and I won one game during that whole span. Just... <laughs> Is that what did you in the baseball game? No, what did me in was uh, I was trying to play uh deadliest warrior uh legends i think it was called oh. and i just fell asleep and woke up and i got beat so oh. that was that hmm. um but yeah it, it was for a good cause so yeah and and you did you did i want to do men- i want to mention you did make up your time you fell asleep I did make up my time and i was a little late i was a little late getting started about 15 minutes so i i stayed uh, but i stayed about 20 minutes after playing destiny uh so i made up my time you actually played that game i actually played destiny in the morning it was i wanted to play it earlier but uh. chachi bobby's playing destiny now hey can i bring up how irritated i'm getting with destiny why oh and how all the drops are just regular shit now no no not even that it has nothing to do with the actual game I haven't gotten. I'm getting pissed off because it's getting to the point where I'm not even playing the game, and I'm getting invited to go raid. (laughs) Oh my god! Oh, what was that guy's name? I was watching West Wing (laughs) on Netflix. Eric, I I got the same email you did. I remember that. Oh, can you block somebody? No. Yeah, you can, but. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Professor <laughs> Professor B Snipes. By the way, the name is spelled. The name is spelled <laughs> as such. Do you guys think it was Wesley Snipes? No, uh, probably <laughs> because he spelled it P R O F E Z U R, <laughs> capital B, Snipe, Z. <laughs> wow. I. And he was looking for level twenty seven, which I I wasn't at the time. Snake. So Wow. And I also got one from Feel Emotion. Yeah, it's getting to the point where uh I can't even do a podcast without this happening. <laughs> like they know I have destiny for some reason. Wow. Well, like like I said though, we're we're gonna try to get the girls in here to talk uh, a little about uh, more about uh our twenty four hour game with on adventures. Um, but yeah, it was fun. We had a good time, raised a lot of money for kids. So, all right, we're going to move on to our, our next story, which is also our final battle question. The Riz, um, you have just received a, a <laughs> message from Chachi says, Hey, want to go raid level 28 and above? <laughs> Must have Mike. Oh, please my. respond. <laughs> of glass Did you put, please respond PLZ. Please respond. Yes. Yes, yes that in, in honor of Professor Snipes. Oh, please. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, GTA 5, which I have behind me here. I got a GameStop promotional item for free this week. Um, I uh, did you steal that, Bobby? No, I did I'm not. not telling the truth. The, the story behind the it, truth. I walked into GameStop, and the guy goes, do you like Grand Theft Auto? I'm like, yeah. He's Get like, in the van. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby he's, like, man. he's like, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this uh, stand up? I'm like, um, for free. He's like, yeah. He's like, none of us want it. So you want it? I was like, sure. <coughs> so I, I have a new Grand Theft Auto stand up. But um, the I love I love the part of Extra Life when you're like, I look like I just won a uh, Toys R Us yeah. <laughs> I had a shopping whole bunch spree of in my living games. room. And ev- everywhere they were everywhere. I had GameCube games, Nintendo games, Wii games, uh, PlayStation Two games, and I'm like, I feel like a kid who went on a Toys R Us shopping spree, and or or just a rich kid on Christmas morning, oh. <laughs> with all these video games in front of me. 
No, yeah. you want a KB toy shopping. Yeah, KB shopping toys. Yeah, from a, a Nick, Nickelodeon I game miss, show. I Ooh. miss KB. You want Double Dare? I want. I want Double Dare. I was super sloppy. Oh no, <laughs> Bobby! No, right. Bobby, questionable. All right, but, but GTA Five, as you know, is coming out for the PS4 and and uh, Xbox One. Um, but what they announced this week, uh, people who own both versions of the games will get exclusive to content. So if you buy the, the oh, Xbox 360 <coughs> version and the three and and the uh, the PS3 version, um, they will get exclusive content such as a murder mystery mission for Michael, which unlocks a noir style filter uh, uh, for gameplay and for the snap. Oh no! Oh no! Don't you be lemon checking. <laughs> you also get the seaplane, the dodo, and the Imponte Duke of Death, which is a badass looking car. Uh, Franklin also gets wildlife photography challenge, uh, and they're going to add new kinds of wildlife to the game. Um, there's going to be stock car races from San Andreas, what, what was previously in the game. A new blimp and a new monster truck, along with a rail gun with ammunition mission uh, shooting challenges. Okay. But that's Wait, not... Bobby, Bobby, yes, yes, Bobby. So what you're telling me is Franklin gets to play Pokemon Snap. Yes, Franklin gets to play Pokemon Snap, and I hope they add the Snorlax bed to his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. That, that's sad that uh, <laughs> X, that Rockstar game, Rockstar Games is giving us what we want Nintendo to do. Yeah, yeah. give us Pokemon, Pokemon Snap. Snap on the Pokemon Wii U. Pokemon Snap. Yep. But um, that's not all the GTA news this week. Um, well, it's kind of a rumor for right now, but um, somebody found a thousand plus new achievements that were added to uh, the achievement list for Xbox 360. Um, they're all San Andreas related uh, achievements. Hey, Bobby. Hmm. Okay. Bobby. Yes? yes. You were on your Xbox for a, a really long time yes. um, Saturday into Sunday. Yes. At no point did you notice the the little square on your home screen that says mm -hmm. San Andreas four dollars. Well, you know what? They took it off the marketplace now. No, it, it was on there. Oh, was it? Ago. Oh, okay. Well, I, somebody I, said I, they pulled it from they. Somebody said they pulled it from the digital marketplace. No. In that article, but um, but but they they it's the tenth month or it's the tenth year anniversary of the game, um, and they they said they're making an HD version of the game. It's possible. So it's 100% already it's done. Yeah, it's, it's already done. Yeah, oh, I bought it's it. Already, is it was is it the HD version of the game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and and I think they even enhanced the wow. uh I think they even yeah, enhanced yeah. the iPhone version for the newer iPhones. <coughs> oh wow, yeah. I didn't even know what, I didn't even know it was that. Is $3.74. Ow. Comes wow. out to $4 See, with tax. I have uh, I have the was regular. It, Bobby? it was IGN. Yeah, I'm not Okay, scratch okay, them from my news list. <laughs> but uh, well, uh, since you guys got the game, um, I was going to ask, will you go, be going back to GTA Five or San Andreas? Um, San Andreas, yes. San Andreas, yeah. Um, you're not going to get the uh, enhanced version of GTA Five if you get the new does console. It, if you get a new console, does it have uh, you know what's the multiplayer heist that, that we were promised at it's release? Probably. probably no, they brought they they come out with heists. Do they come out with heists? Yeah, they come out they come out with heists. Heists. On, yes. The multiplayer they added them later in the year, I believe. Well, I haven't played it in a while, so. Yeah. yeah. I have to upload all that shit now. You kind of walked away from the game. <laughs> but yeah, I, well, it's I, because when I was playing it, all I had was the bigger big apartment, mm -hmm. the, the, and that was it. If if. I, I would right. say I would say yes to the newer version of GTA five only if it's less money, which it might be like forty bucks. If I could snag it for like forty to thirty bucks, it's then probably I would no, not not the San Andreas version. Oh, San okay. Andreas I'll probably grab. Uh but I, I do have the old old school version of San Andreas on my Xbox. But if it, if it the H D version is four dollars, I might as well just grab it. <laughs> But um, I mean GTA Five. I, I think I would get GTA Five for the next gen console if I had a next gen console and it was a little cheaper. I don't think I'd buy it like for sixty bucks, say. But if they is are adding because, new content, because of the LA North thing. 
It is because of the Michael murder mission. <laughs> murder solving mission. Because I want the sepia tone for my <laughs> for the gameplay. <laughs> I want to walk around like it's the 20s. And take Instagram photos like it's the 20s. No. <laughs> All right. Bobby, Bobby, no. All right. That's going to do it for us this week. Uh, well, um, okay. Uh, you can visit us on insertcointobegin.com uh, and, and follow us on Twitter on at insertcointb. Uh, new, new articles are going up daily. Uh, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com for at Sorgatron, at Chachi Says, at The Riz. I'm at Bobby FJ Town. Game over. Game over, yeah! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.